We're here with Gina Van Leuven here on the Mountain Morning Show. You're watching Park City Television, and we were just getting started with one of our first steps to making our vegetarian chili to warm you up this January. So we just dropped in some onions, and is that onions garlic and in garlic, there? Yeah, Perfect. So I've got a medium onion and three cloves. A garlic. like heavenly combo. I love onions and garlic and butter. They always smell so good. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil too, which I added to the pan earlier. Great. And this is just I, kind of whatever you're feeling. Yeah, put you know, in. this is the only thing that I think you really need in that in chili is cumin and chili powder. Oh, Beyond okay. that, it's, you can do whatever you want. You can add Perfect. vegetables. You can add onions. Some people don't like onions or garlic. Mm -hmm. The thing is, onions, garlic. Uh, they're great for the immune system. We've got some peppers, some sweet peppers over right. here. Right, these look amazing. Here. And the greens, which I'm adding in, add mm -hmm. a lot of antioxidants as well as the spices wow. like cumin and the uh, chili powder provide antioxidants to help keep, keep you healthy as well. Sure, so and especially during the winter months when like everything's in the air, the possibility of getting sick, it's always nice to have I something like this. I want to show you this. I don't know if you can get a close up of this, but these are our well, I was going to say tricolored carrots, but there's actually four different colors sure. of carrots in here, and they're just beautiful. They are. So don't be afraid to experiment. They taste, they all taste a little bit different. And I like to add the carrots in a little bit earlier because it takes a little bit longer mm. to break down. So after I put the garlic and onions in, I'll add the carrots in almost maybe a, a minute after to help them start breaking down. So while those are breaking down, I'm okay. going to start with the, the chili over here. Now, I want to show you, I'm using this canned chili right okay. here. And this is an organic chili. Um, later, we're going to add in some diced tomatoes and some tomato paste. But the, the chili, regardless if you cook your own or you use canned, you have to rinse them really, really well. So Why is that? Well, those little gas bubbles in there, you mm -hmm. don't want them inside your belly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so okay. They're really well. <laughs> it It'll sense. look like when you start rinsing them, like there's soap in there. Uh -huh. and so you want to get all of that out. So these are already pre-rinsed. And I'll just put those in the, you can use a stock pot or uh -huh. you can use uh, a slow cooker. I often use a slow cooker and I'll just turn it on low and keep it on the entire day. You can actually cook this in like 20 minutes. But the flavors don't meld together as nicely, mm. so if you slow cook it either in a stock pot or in a slow cooker, then you get the benefits of melding all those spices together. A great meal left over. Not yeah. all meals are so good left Yeah, over. no kidding. That sounds delicious. So this is the diced tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. in which case you will add them to the, to the pan because you want to start breaking them down. Sure. These are already broken down. They're sense. stewed. Uh, diced tomatoes, so really easy to just throw it. Again, I'm all about being easy. Yeah, yeah. Now, paste, you can use this tomato paste here. But I like this squeeze tube because it keeps really nicely, so I don't and use the whole thing. And what's the difference, thing. I mean, because I think tomato paste, well, what about the tomatoes you just put in? It's I've never very used tomato concentrated paste. flavor, so that'll get, help give it that chili oh, flavor. Oh, that's where you get, okay. And it's much thicker, as you can tell, than what I just put into the, sure, sure. the stock pot. So I'm just going to kind of mix that in and then add my spices. So I have in here sea salt, cumin, garlic, some oregano, and some basil. Wow. So it's not a whole lot of stuff. And yeah. you can add what you want. The thing is, when, when you do, it's less is better. So okay. when you do this, you'll want to taste it. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like it needs more salt or more cumin or, or more chili powder, add in a little bit at a time so you don't end up making it overpowering. Right. Because, I mean, that's always the worst situation to be in. Or like, dang it, I added too much of that. It's already yes. mixed and together. And too much what do you salt do? is a bad yep, thing. If that true. happens, and oh, you're tasting amazing. it when you get it in here. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have too much salt, you can throw it in a potato. A potato will help absorb the salt. Are you serious? But seriously, just try to add a little bit at a time okay. and don't go crazy. I know a potato could do that kind of magic. That's <laughs> brilliant. Now I'm going to add in some peppers All and right. zucchini. I love the color of this. This is oh, nice. beautiful. I have yeah. red, yellow, and orange, and then some zucchini. Oh, zucchini. Now, I... Like I this is a little bit more coarsely grated. I have a thing called a salad master, and it just it does all the different cuts. Oh, that's but you nice. can do just a hand grater, a box okay. grater, and shave it really nicely. The great thing about chili or spaghetti, anything like that, is that if you don't like vegetables, you can very easily hide these by making them smaller mm. or even running them in a food processor right. or even pureeing them. So you would want to, if you're going to puree, you definitely want to do that after you sure. sauteed everything so that it's broken down and then you can puree it. It's, uh, it's really a texture issue for a lot of people, not as much the, 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 the flavor. Yeah. So and all the flavors kind of meld together and so you just don't notice it. Um, I don't usually saute the kale, which I will add in there shortly. You can see this actually, I just go ahead and add it in mm -hmm. there. I've just chopped up some kale. And if you look at the plate over here, 
you can see the kale. This is the dinosaur kale. Okay. There's also dinosaur the curly kale. kale. Well, it kind of looks like a dinosaur, doesn't <laughs> I it? I guess it does. And the neat thing about kale is that you don't use a stalk, so you just rip everything off and okay. then shred it all up. It's super easy to work with. Perfect. That's the only green that I don't use the stalk with. Mm -hmm. I, everything else, I'll, if it's chard or collard greens, anything like that, I'll use the stalk. But you can put right. anything in here. Except for cucumber, that doesn't cook very nice. That though. wouldn't, I don't think that would either. So about how long is this until it starts to brown yeah, a little bit, or what are you going so for? It, I'm waiting for the zucchini to break down a little bit, and then I'm just going to throw everything into the stock pot, mix it up, and we're good to go. Perfect. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Excellent. Well, we are going to take a quick break. When we get back, Ashley and I are going to try out this tasty vegetarian chili. We'll talk more about how we can get in touch with Gina here to get help when it comes to in the kitchen, whether or not you say you or not, that you don't like it. You clearly know something, a, a thing or two bit. about it. You can teach us. So that's after this. Stay tuned for more. I'd rather scrub toilets than cook. That's what Gina says here. And I, you know, you wouldn't know that, you know, she doesn't enjoy it that much because she just made this really tasty vegetarian chili, perfect for the winter season. We brought Ashley on with us to be our, our designated taste tester mm -hmm. since Joe's not here. How about that, Ashley? I love it. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Does this all work for, for you? It. Yes. Well, Gina, there is a couple of last things that we need to know about the chili before we take a bite, right? Yeah, so I put everything into the stock pot and I'm just going to add some, some water. And I usually end up adding, this is about a cup, I usually mm -hmm. end up adding a little bit more. It just depends right. on the consistency. Sure. and you can add more later as well and just mix it up. I'll show you what this looks like if you can see it here. And, and it's, it's very so chunky. colorful. Yeah. And if you <laughs> like it a little bit more runny, you can add some more water to it and that's totally fine. It'll pick up all the flavors. The water will pick up all the flavors from right. the pot. I want to mention you can add meat to this. Mm -hmm. So all of you non-vegetarians, it's totally fine to add meat. I highly encourage people to try to do at least one vegetarian meal a week. It's healthier for you and the planet. So that's a good thing. But uh, you can just saute up some sausage or beef or whatever it is that you want and then add it in at any point. Perfect. Now I want to point out I used an yeah. iron skillet. Mentioned we were talking this about this on break. The reason I use an I iron skillet is because it does add a flavor to your food that I really like. Mm -hmm. It does add iron to your food so if you need more iron that's helpful but it's really easy cleanup and I know if you look at the pan it looks like an absolute disaster but it <laughs> cleans up very, very And how do you nicely. clean cast iron? You can put some water in it and just let it sit for a bit and so then just clean it right up. So don't stick that in your dishwasher? No. In no. fact you don't use soap on it. You oh, don't use soap. No. Uh, and see, see how much. Oil. That's why you're here to tell exactly. me these things. Otherwise, I would screw yeah, that. I would have ruined, I would have ruined my day. pan Excellent. for sure. Excellent. Cool. Yep. All right, Ashley, take a dip into that. Okay, so this is the final product. Okay. And you can see how much more soupy that is yeah. than what we started out with. This it will break down amazing. and make more water. Ooh, that's great. Mm. What do you think, Ashley? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have to take a bite of that, too. Tasty stuff. Well, tell us where we can get your book. You can go to my website, uniquenutrition.com. Mm, mm, thank you. I love it's that. It's Y-O-U-N-I-Q-U-E. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that the link that you put up is Healthy Habits Wel Wellness Center, and that's my parent company, and you can get to Unique Nutrition from there as well. That's perfect. That is really good, yeah. Ashley. And I, I do know. have my recipe on my that. blog up yeah, there as so well, we can find as, that there? as well as a, an entire article about the importance of having winter foods. Mm -hmm. And I was noticing some of the incredible recipes in here, too. It teaches you how to saute. I'm gonna roast, you know, there was like a hummus. Oh, here it is, hummus, one of my favorite things that you can learn how to make as well. So this is pretty cool. So I want to remind folks too that, you know, you are a coach and you are a wellness speaker. If we want to get in touch with you personally to get assistance on, you know, really how to change our whole lives, because eating the right foods can literally change your whole life. It can, and it's a, a little bit of a process. You don't go from eating unhealthy to eating healthy mm -hmm. overnight. It's a, it's a process, but uh, you can get in touch with me with me through UniqueNutrition.com sure. as well. And again, that's Y-O-U-N-I-Q-U-E. All right, excellent. Well, Gina, a pleasure to have you here. It's so nice Thank to be you here Thank you so much. Happy this New Year. Is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, get on board with eating healthier with a little help from Gina because it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. That's good yeah. stuff. All right, we're going to go to a break. When we get back, we have more to share with you coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show.